everybody, it's Risa and Kevin from Hudson Valley Vintage. Welcome to Date Night with Paint Couture. Hudson Valley Vintage is located in the Hudson Valley in New York. The last couple of weeks we've been working on this dresser and we're going to finish it tonight. So let me just quickly review what we did with this. So I'm calling this my denim dresser for obvious reasons. So I painted the whole thing in purely white. That's purely white. Then I painted just one coat. And, and if you watched when I did this, I was kind of like, it wasn't the smoothest cup, um, brush strokes I've ever done in my life, but that was intentional because I didn't need to make it perfect. So I did the midnight blue over it. And then I took this really horrible, I mean, this brush should have been in the trash a long time ago, but it was perfect because it is like, it's so dried up, it feels like metal. It literally feels like metal. And then I just went along like this. What I did when I did this was I did one drawer at a time because if the blue dries too quickly, it's not gonna work right. So, so we did that. Then I, I did some highlights with copper, metallic copper, and I glazed it with black chiffon. And then the last thing I did, which I did yesterday, was add these numbers. The reason I added numbers was because this is going to our local community center. They have something called the clothes closet, which is a donation place for um, clothes and housewares and stuff. And uh, we're making over their rooms. With, along with some volunteers and another business partner with us. So um, they're gonna use this for their unmentionables. So they'll number each drawer. So I'm gonna finish the top tonight and then Kevin is gonna give you sort of a little bonus thing. So I'm gonna go back here. Oh, this is nice. This is very nice, I like this. It's like the six o'clock news. Yeah. Okay, all right. So I'm gonna start with my copper. So I'm just gonna do a little bit, a little heavier than dry brushing. So because we're doing a denim look, I thought we should bring in copper because you know, you think about the most famous jeans in the world are Levi's and you know, you have the copper buttons. So I wanted to bring some copper in. So I'm using my blue ice brush. We just got these in, these are fabulous. They are synthetic yet um, really soft, but because they're so dense, they're, they're stiff, which is nice. So I'm just gonna put a little bit on my brush and I'm gonna wipe some off. And I'm gonna first, that's a little too much. Let's see if I can wipe this back. There we go. So first I'm gonna go for my edges. I always like to do that. I'm using a slightly heavier hand than a dry brush because this is such a dark blue. I really want the copper to pop a little bit. So when I did the stenciling yesterday, I stenciled it in British gray. So what I did was I put the stencil on, first I put on British gray, and then while the stencil was still on, I used some of the copper. So now I'm gonna take a little bit more of my copper. And again, I'm gonna go for my edges. I always like to do that first. And when you do dry brushing, at least for me, I don't want it to be uniform. So I don't want it to look like I'm trying to follow a pattern. I want it to look pretty random. Again, I'm using a synthetic brush. Synthetic brushes will give you a much smoother look. And I'm just kind of being random with my copper at this point. And when your brush is really dry like this, you can literally just kind of go crazy with it. Another thing I like to do when I'm doing a dry brush like this and I have a cloth is take my cloth <laughs> and just kind of hit my piece with that. So now I'm going to take my black chiffon and I just want to deepen this a little bit. So for me, the, the black chiffon glaze is going to bring a little bit more of the deepness out and just give it a little more of a finished look. I'm using a foam brush. You can really use any kind of brush that you want. And Paint Couture's Glaze has a built-in top coat. So 
In addition to the pink couture having a built-in top coat, you're getting a little bit of extra protection. Now, how fast do you have to work with this? It has a decent open time. I am gonna still wipe it back. You can, you can use the glaze and not wipe it back, by the way. And I have used it, I've used the zinc. What I would recommend if you're glazing a piece is work in sections. So if you have drawers, do one drawer at a time, maybe then do one side. Apply your glaze and then wipe it back before you go to the next section. Rather than applying your glaze all over, letting, you know, and then starting back over. Yeah, I can still, I can still work this. This is still, you, you asked a few minutes ago if, you know, about the open time. I can still easily manipulate this, so. Could you add more copper after the glaze? I could. The only thing is the glaze takes a long time to dry. So I would let the glaze dry first. Now the glaze is water-based. You can paint over the glaze. You might notice I'm using a, um, I'm using an old t-shirt. So I'm gonna throw this in my washing machine. If this was an oil-based product, I would not recommend doing that. But since this is water-based, then it's fine to go into the washing machine. So it's got a little bit of a gloss, but when this dries, that it's will that will so the drawers yeah, so the, the drawers, drawers are dry. So you can see the difference. The drawers are completely mm -hmm. dry. The top is you can, not. You can see it has some reflection in it. But, yeah, but that that the, will that will knock down. And that's the glaze. I'm gonna get away from the reflection here. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's really, got a lot. Of, it's got a lot of depth to it. It does. It does. And 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 like I said earlier, if you walked over to it and touched it you would expect it to be bumpy. It almost looks like, you know, you wouldn't want to put anything on it, but it is totally smooth. It's just, it's just an effect of the paint. Yeah, so that's it. That's, that's our denim dresser. I will definitely do another piece like this in the future. Take care, everybody. Right. Thank you.